Microsoft just pushed out Windows 11 build 28000.1199 for the Canary channel, and while it's not packed with new features, it brings several important improvements for the upcoming Windows 11 26H1 update. In this video, I'll break down what's new, what it means for you, and why this update is different from any previous Windows 11 release. Windows 11 build 28000.1199 has just landed for Canary Insiders. This build isn't about adding flashy features. Microsoft says it contains a small set of general improvements and fixes to improve the overall experience for devices currently testing 26H1. Now, here's what's interesting. Windows 11 26H1 is the first H1 release in four years. Right after shipping the 25H2 update to everyone, Microsoft immediately started testing 26H1 in the Canary channel. Rumors are heating up that Windows 11 26H1 may be a platform-specific update, possibly exclusive to Snapdragon X2 Elite processors. Microsoft isn't confirming anything yet, but insiders expect this version to launch in the first half of 2026, just as the 26H1 name suggests. For everyone running Intel, AMD, or older ARM PCs, don't worry. Your next big update arrives in late 2026, known as Windows 11 26H2. That's where all the major features and visual changes are expected. At the moment, Microsoft is offering a single unified build for the dev and beta channels. But that won't last long. The dev channel will soon move to higher numbered, less stable builds. And here's something you should know, right now, there's a rare opportunity to downgrade from dev to beta without wiping your system. Once the dev channel jumps ahead in build numbers, that option disappears, and you'll have to reinstall Windows from scratch to switch back. So that's everything new in Windows 11 build 28000.1199 and what it means for the upcoming 26H1 release. If you want more quick breakdowns on Windows updates, fixes, and performance tips, make sure to like the video, drop your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more tech content.